Question 16. Describe class libraries in Ruby. Answer. Ruby class libraries comprise a variety of domains, such as thread programming, data types, various domains. It has additional libraries evolving day by day. The following are the domains which has relevant class libraries. Text processing. File. String. Regexp for quick and clean text processing. CGI programming. There are supporting class library for CGI programming support like database interface, eRuby, mod underscore Ruby for Apache, text processing classes, network programming. Various well-designed sockets are available in Ruby for network programming, GUI programming, Ruby slash TK and Ruby slash GTK are the classes for GUI programming, XML programming, UTF-8 text processing regular expression engine make XML programming very handy in Ruby. Question 17. How does Ruby deal with extremely large numbers? Answer. Unlike other programming languages Ruby deals with extremely large numbers it doesn't have any barriers. There is no limit on the extent of limit of number usage. Ruby performs this function with two different classes. They are fixNum and bignum. fixNum represents easily managed small numbers and bignum represents big numbers. Ruby entirely handles the functioning of these two classes which leaves a programmer to concentrate on his array arithmetic operations. Question 18. How does a symbol differ from a string? Answer. Symbols are immutable and reusable, retaining the same object underscore read. Be prepared to discuss the benefits of using symbols versus strings, the effect on memory usage, and in which situations you would use one over the other. Question 19. What are the three levels of method access control for classes and what do they signify? What do they imply about the method? Answer. Public, protected, and private. Public methods can be called by all objects and subclasses of the class in which they are defined in. Protected methods are only accessible to objects within the same class. Private methods are only accessible within the same instance. Question 20. Explain about portability. Answer. Ruby language can be ported to many platforms. Ruby programs can be ported to many platforms without any modification to the source code. This feature made the language very useful and highly used by many programmers worldwide. Some of the platforms used are DOS, Unix, Windows, etc. Question 21. Explain about class variable and global variable. Answer. A class variable starts with an at sign which is immediately followed by upper or lower case letter. You can also put some name characters after the letters which stand to be a pure optional. A class variable can be shared among all the objects of a class. A single copy of a class variable exists for each and every given class. To write a global variable you start the variable with a dollar sign which should be followed by a name character. Ruby defines a number of global variables which also include other punctuation characters such as dollar underscore and dollar k question 22 explain about the command line options answer ruby's language is executed from the command line like most of the scripting languages programming and behavior language environment can be controlled from the interpreter itself some of the commands which are used are as follows d h e prog v t r lib etc Question 23. Explain about variables. Answer. There are four different types of variables. They are local, instance, global, and class. Variables can be used in the program without any declaration and they can contain data of any type. A local variable contains lowercase characters followed by name characters. Instance variable starts with a at sign followed by name characters. Question 24. Mention what is the difference between prox and blocks? Answer. The difference between prox and blocks. Block is just the part of the syntax of a method while prog has the characteristics of a block. Prox are objects. Blocks are not. At most one block can appear in an argument list. Only block is not able to be stored into a variable while prog can. Question 25. Explain about Ruby names. Answer. Classes, variables, methods, constants and modules can be referred by Ruby names. When you want to distinguish between various names you can specify that by the first character of the name. Some of the names are used as reserve words which should not be used for any other purpose. A name can be lowercase letter, uppercase letter, number or an underscore. Make sure that you follow the name by name characters. 
Question 26. Explain about normal method class. Answer. This function calls a method and it can take any number of arguments and x. But make sure that you put an asterisk or an ampersand before the expression. Last x per argument can be declared with a hash without any braces. If you want to increase the size of the array value then make sure that you put an asterisk before expression. Can be used to separate the class from methods. Question 27. Explain about methods. Answer. Methods in Ruby basically perform two functions, named operation and the code present in the class which does a specific function. In Ruby all your algorithms live in methods which in turn is present on objects. Ruby does not have any provision for functions. Code present in Ruby is always a method of some object. Behind the scenes Ruby gives you the flexibility to work with methods as functions if you are considering working with other languages. Question 28. Explain the difference between nil and false in Ruby. Answer. The differences of the methods nil and false are. Nil cannot be a value, whereas a false can be a value. A method returns true or false in case of a predicate. Otherwise nil is returned. False is a Boolean data type, whereas nil is not. Nil is an object for nil class, whereas false is an object of for false class. Question 29. Explain about the defined operator. Answer. Define operator defines whether a past expression is defined or not. If the expression is defined it returns the description string or null. If the expression is not defined. If a variable is defined it gets initialized. If method underscore call is defined as true then method also gets defined. This is also the same case with super and yield. Question 30. Explain about operators in Ruby. Answer. Like all the modern languages Ruby supports many different operators to its credit. Most of the operators in Ruby are in fact methods due to the object-oriented nature of the language. This feature gives Ruby an edge over its competitors. Semantics of these operators can be changed due to the object-oriented nature of the language.